I thought setting up a Japanese restaurant is easy because I know how to cook and uh, I have a lot of Japanese friends who can help me. But it's in Singapore, even there are a lot of Japanese owners that close down their restaurant. Hi, my name is Tony Yang. I'm the founder of Misato at uh, Centerpoint. I used to be a fashion designer. I broke my wrist in 2012 and I switched to be a restaurateur. I used to have a Japanese girlfriend. I lived in Tokyo for one year. I learned from the Japanese chef as well as to do my own uh, R&D. Spent uh, a couple of years to perfect the recipe by uh, doing a lot of experiment. Our food is all very authentic because it's 100% uh, imported from Japan. We emphasize on uh, very good quality, very stellar ingredients that even the sea salt, our cooking oil, the frying oil, the very little like togarashi, chili powder, everything. It's like 100% is from Japan. The only thing that is not able to get Japan is like the fresh chicken and uh, the, the tiger prawn. Even the tableware is 110% from Japan. We are very different because I love Japanese food. In fact, I travel, I can show you my passport. I travel 23 times to Japan within the three years. Sometimes I fly to Japan to source for all these ingredients. A close friend of mine is a Japanese, so he will help me to source like uh, things that is not available. For example, the monori miso, local supplier cannot get and I have to get my Japanese to F flown to Singapore because in Singapore uh, they normally don't get the good one because they cannot get <laughs> to air flown is very expensive it's like hundred dollars just to air flown small little bottles of monomi miso so these are the things that we went the extra miles to get that makes the difference of misato the okonomiyaki the basic ingredients is actually yamaimo cabbage flour we have to mix with sake and uh, soyu and all those things to mix together we have to pan fry the hot belly to cook for four minutes and turn over and another four minutes to cook it basically people go to eat uh, okonomiyaki they like the sauce the okonomiyaki sauce and the crispiness and then the pork belly as well. We cook the char soba about a few minutes and we have to check, break the soba to make sure the center core is cooked uh, and it's not too overcooked also. After that, we have to quickly rinse with water, icy water, and then we will twist and, and put it on the soba bento. Every donburi, we are different from those uh, ready-made ones. We freshly make our fresh panko. Firstly, we need to uh, coat it with flour, then go with uh, egg batter and then we just uh, deep fry. We have to prepare the dashi stock and with uh, mirin, sake to make the broth and etc. Pour the egg for the first round. After that, we put the egg onto the bowl. Then we put the whatever, ikura and uh, tobigo and some nori seaweed on top of the egg topping. The seafood kabinabe is a very intricate process to prepare. Firstly, we have to get niboshi broth. What is niboshi broth? A lot of people might not know. It's actually the Japanese sardine. We need to remove the head and the innards of the sardine. And then we soak it with uh, kombu overnight. After that, we have to bring it to boil and season with a lot of uh, sake, shoyu, a lot of flavor. And it's uh, very expensive uh, niboshin broth because it's all imported from Japan. That's how the broth came about. Gyoza is uh, also one of its kind. In Singapore, we are the first one who started this gyoza with a uh, wing thing because I traveled to Osaka and happened to found this unique owner who does that. So I was doing a lot of R&D to make it so uh, like thin and crispy layered. We actually handmade from the scratch. Uh, we are the one who uh, means the meat and then the, the seasoning, everything we actually do it. The Hoba Miso Wagyu A5. A lot of people say why you're selling this price, selling at the cost. The reason being is we want more people to know about these dishes. I went to Takayama in Japan and I find that this is a very interesting dish. The presentation also cooked over the charcoal, over the Hoba leaf with Namafu, with the Wagyu A5. It's from Omi. It's a, the number two best beef in the world. There are people who ask me why not A, A4 and then to cut costs or other, other perfection. But we want to give the best quality. Even this is a non-profit dish we try to sell people to enjoy the food. Walabi mochi is a very uh, simple food. In Japan, you can get it at the departmental store. It looks simple, but it's the most hardest things to do. Preparation is very tedious. Because walabi mochi, when you make today, you need to serve by tomorrow 9pm. If you don't serve 
you have to discard everything, throw away. So in Singapore, they normally get supplier uh, in cubes, tastes like rubble. For me, it's when you freshly make the warabi mochi. It's very bouncy, very nice, and uh, very refreshing. Initially, I thought I can be very successful, like those entrepreneurs like Ting Tai Fung or whatever. Having said that, it's, I thought it's easy, la, but when you set out, it's going through a, a lot of very difficult time. I've even go through depression for many years because we are not a famous restaurant. When we set out, we approach the, uh, the established mall, they are rejecting us. Even we have the money, they say that they want branding to come in. The struggle is a staff issue very hard to get Singaporean to work for us. To date, I've incurred losses of 2.2 million. Every time I get hit, I have to keep going because if I think my food standard is under power, I can probably just wind up. But the funny thing is I find that we have an edge over some of the restaurants, but we're still struggling and losing money. So hope that the people will come and support us and try our food.